best part about being a Puget Sound teacher leader for me has been the connections that I've been able to make and uh, that I have colleagues outside just my building so I just sort of feel like I have an entire community of people that are helping me to work through both my uh, blogging work but also my work in my classroom. This experience has impacted my leadership. I've wanted to become more of a member of my community. Uh, recently we did Beautify in Bonnie Lake where we built a trail behind the school and an amphitheater for our students to read outside. And before I would look at professional growth and think of in the classroom, but it's also the community and it's made me more aware of the community too. And I've reached out to people on Twitter for that as well. My practice in my classroom has changed as a result of the Teacher Leader Project because it has given me time to be more reflective about my practice. It's also given me um, a sounding board for questions that I have and I think that I'm able to actually grow faster, um, get answers and apply those kinds of answers and also to just uh, reflect on my own teaching and to share that out. I think that whenever we can stop and think about what we're doing and how we can communicate it to others, we see our own work through a new lens and that has helped me to strengthen my teaching and to really um, hone in on some of my skills and to fill some gaps for myself and my students. For teachers who are new to Twitter, don't be scared. Go out there, make mistakes, try to talk to people, learn, be a learner. That's the most important thing. And talk to your fellow colleagues about if they're using or encourage them to be online and see what resources you can find. Bring some to the table, but just try. Don't be scared. As a result of this project, I was able to share my insight through my blogging and um, the other social media with my district leaders, and um, I don't think that I was able to do that before, but by leading them to my blog and the ways that I was reaching communities outside of our district, I've actually had lots of opportunities in my district to help. So I am started to serve on the district literacy team, and I've started to help with some of the trainings for TPEP and helping to mentor new teachers through the TPEP process. And so, um, by putting my voice out there for the entire ESD district, I actually uh, amplified my voice in my own district. And so it really gave me the opportunity to sort of say, uh, here's where I can help you and here are my thoughts and, and how can I be more of a leader in my own district as well. So it's been, it's really paid off for me professionally in that manner as well. The people that should apply for this position should be outgoing, should not be afraid to take risks and be willing to go a little bit out of their comfort zone to talk to teachers and reflect and talk about what they need to work on or what they want to improve on and be selfless in that sense and want to help the teaching community. Someone who, an ideal candidate is someone who wants to make their school district stronger by working with other teachers. So, um, teachers who feel passionately, teachers who feel strongly about um, sharing the positive impacts of things in their world. So teachers who want to forge ahead and to inspire others and uh, teachers who really are into collaboration are great for this project. Mm -hmm.